Hey guys, it's Alyssa from Eden Zangora coming at you from my retail storefront. Little section of this store in downtown Stanton where I live. So I thought I would come and talk to you guys a little bit about some things that you can make with your Angora wool and your Angora yarn. This video is gonna be the winter 2023 edition. I'm planning on doing one of these seasonally as I try to figure out how to make Angora a year round business for me. This is definitely a challenge having a fiber that is eight times warmer than sheep's wool, but I plan on taking you guys along with me. It is kind of one of those videos where it's, it's hard for me to share what I've worked so hard to create, um, knowing that it's going to create, you know, other people doing the same thing as me, but that's okay. We're supposed to all inspire each other, right? And you guys have encouraged me and inspired me so much here on YouTube that I wanna give back to you guys and share some of what I've been up to. So I apologize if there are two of these videos. I did do this video today live, but they locked it. They locked it, can you believe it? Because I do not have a thousand subscribers yet. I honestly cannot believe how close to a thousand subscribers I have. And again, that is something that is just like incredible to me. And thank you guys so much for all of the support. But until I hit a thousand subscribers, apparently they're gonna lock that live video. And I really don't want you guys to have to wait for that. So. I'm here in the store and I'm gonna show you some of the things that I've made. I'm gonna flip the camera around, but before I do that, I have to show you guys my bunny necklace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true, a true bunny girl to the core. And um, I don't know where you can get this, so that's just a, a little teaser there, sorry for that. Uh, but now I'm gonna flip around the camera and show you what I've been up to. Okay, this is my booth in our store. Um, I hope you guys like banjo music because I can't control that. <laughs> I don't have as much audio control unless I was gonna voice over this whole thing and I am not. Okay, so let's talk about some different things you can do with your Angora yarn and Angora blends. Um, as I said, this is gonna be a winter edition, so there's gonna be some winter clothing items here, but some things that will translate to being seasonal. Um, so one thing you can do with 100% Angora yarn is do infinity scarves. The reason for using 100% Angora in scarves is because Angora doesn't have memory on its own. So if you wanna make something like a hat, you have to add sheep's wool into it so that it has spring back if you're expecting this thing to last generations which for my customers i like saying hey like this is something that can be a family heirloom you know you're spending a lot for a hat let's say this hat i think i'm charging 220 dollars for it and i'm making like less than 10 dollars an hour or charging that much for it so this is something that people want to last so i got USA raised, USA hand dyed merino, right there, that purple and pink. And then I did a 50% twist with or apply with my Angora from Blueberry. So this hat has it all. It has the halo, it has the stretch of merino, but a lot of the qualities of Angora as well. Um, but when you're going for a an 100% Angora item, you don't want it to be something that has to stretch and unstretch over someone's head. So I do 100% Angora Infinity scarves like this one. They're just gorgeous. And then you can also do 100% Angora weft on a woven scarf. The warp, again, you're not gonna wanna use 100% Angora for the warp, in my opinion. I use a cotton warp. Um, it just holds the shape really nicely and it works complementary with Angora. But you'll see this is an Angora Merino blend in the weft and it, it does have a lot of nice halo to it. And then down here I have some different blends of Merino and Angora and this one also has little bits of recycled silk which is just so cool. This is hand-dyed local Clun Forest wool mixed with 
Angora. And then I do little headbands and those are Merino and Angora again because they have to stretch. One of my newest ventures this year is doing these twist headbands, which they are just beautiful. I'm gonna take this one out and show you. So these are made on a knitting machine, a loom, and I do 100% Angora stripes and then the hand dyed merino yarn as well. So it has some of the qualities of Angora, but still has the stretch from the merino. And these sell very well. They also fit all sorts of different people. Whereas my hats are kind of, you have to try those on and see if they fit. Another thing that's been going really well clothing wise is baby clothes. So I wish that these were higher percent Angora, but they do sell really well. I hand dyed them. Um, it's Romney wool mixed with a giant Angora, hand dyed in indigo. It took me five hours to dye these. It's just crazy. Um, and then I have some 100% Angora newborn hats. Now these will stretch out, but this is something that's gonna go in a hope chest, right? It's kind of like, it's a very unique gift that is not expected to be worn long-term. Maybe worn as a newborn baby and then passed down through generations. So that's something I feel comfortable making out of 100% Angora and it just doesn't get softer than that, guys. It's just, it is truly a luxury baby wear. And that's something that I want to continue in. Then I have my smaller wrist warmers. This is a set of matching wrist warmers and I have all sorts of different Angora jewelry. Some are 100% Angora cuffs, um, and I just advise people to size them small because they will stretch out. And then I do some blended cuffs. I find that the thicker the cuff you make, the more it's gonna last, and I'm really comfortable selling these 50% Angora, 50% Merino knitted twist bracelets. Those are my favorite to sell. Um, I also make something called a scarfless, which is a necklace made out of yarn. And I wrap wooden um, rings in yarn, do a little macrame knot on there. And yeah, yeah make, make these necklaces in many different styles. And again, those have been selling really well I don't have any of my chokers in stock, but I also make choker necklaces with sterling silver findings, and those are pretty amazing. You don't have to do just clothing. You can also do a variety of felted things. Um, this is my favorite felted thing and one of the only felted things I've ever made. It is the Buncano. Again, an original idea of mine to make this felted vessel. Um, from Lightning's Wool. And it's more of a conversation piece than anything. You know, I kept it on my mantle for a while, but decided if someone else want it, wants it on their man mantle, they can have it. Sorry, I'm a little tongue tied after a long day of working retail. Um, with my art yarns, like my bubble yarns, I make these really fun ear warmers. You know, I have two different styles, so more refined and more modern knits and then I have chunky, you know, full of personality and full of color, different blends. This is 100% Junior Angora. Um, this is a 50%. I try to keep, my newer stuff is all around 50% for headwear. But when I was first learning how to make things, obviously I didn't know that. So yeah, I will say I have this one, which is 100% Angora. I have this one in black and I, I have worn it for three and a half to four years now. It has not lost its shape. So, you know, I feel comfortable selling that. Um, so just use your own experience as a guide too. Another thing that has been selling well, which was not my idea, this was the store owner Jen's idea, is making calming wristlets to keep your keys on. And I absolutely love them. I found these little bunnies online. I bought them out, so sorry. 
Um, but I'm sure you can find your own bunnies somewhere online to make these absolutely adorable wristlets. And these are different hand spun yarns. And of course I have a picture of the rabbit that the yarn was spun from. And here's my wheel on display, that's Rosemary. Um, and I think that's, no, there was one more thing I wanted to show you guys. And that is my line of hair bows. So these are knitted hair bows, very on trend for winter of 2023, um, crochet and knitted hair bows. So I attached these to metal alligator clips and packaged those up. And they have been another thing that's selling really well and I feel like they could work for a variety of different situations. So I hope you guys got some inspiration and ideas from my booth. And I have, I don't know, 20 more ideas rolling around my brain. So I'm going to make a spring version of this video as well. Now I am not going to link patterns or anything like that. Reason being most of these are patterns that I have made up um my mother-in-law crochets my baby clothes so i have no idea how she does that magic that's that's all on her <laughs> but things like this hat i don't use a pattern it comes straight from my brain um and there are a lot of different patterns for similar items you'll be able to look up on your own but some of this stuff is you know i consider it to be i don't know how to say it it's kind of like artist process. Like there's a code among artists, not necessarily crochet, but definitely different people have different styles of doing stuff and you kind of have to respect that. So I'm not gonna be doing tutorials. This is how I make this particular headband or this particular, you know, because I consider that my personal intellectual property. Um, but I do wanna share inspiration with you guys and hope you're not offended by that because I really made this video to share inspiration and ideas with you that might inspire you in your own way to start your own line of something that you're really proud of or copy me. <laughs> if you can go online and type in knitted hair bows and stuff, you'll, you'll get ideas and tutorials on how to do it. None of this stuff is complicated. None of it is hard to make otherwise. I would not be able to do it being seeing as I am such a beginner, but I do outsource my baby clothes currently to my mother-in-law. So she helps me out there. I hope you guys have found this video to be inspiring and interesting. And I'm so excited for the future. This is only just the very beginning, but if anyone is out there telling you that you can't make this into a business or you can't make money doing it. Keep going, just keep going, all right? I'm not saying that I'm making a lot of money here, but I, I do have a start, I have a foothold, and I can't imagine where I'd be if I would have listened to all the naysayers and stopped. So thank you guys so much for watching. As I said, I hope you found this video inspiring and useful, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up please share in the comments what your favorite things to make with your Angora are. And if you have any general questions, of course, I'd be happy to answer them. And yeah, stay tuned. Um, if you are not already subscribed, if you wanna consider subscribing, that would be wonderful because that will unlock my ability to do live videos. And I really wanna start doing live Q and A's with you guys because I think that'll be even more helpful to answering your questions all about angora rabbits raising them and starting a little handmade business um, with featuring your bunnies all right guys take care until next week bye